Hello YouTube, this is Multi Holsters coming to you from Michigan and I just wanted to uh, go over a uh, couple of holsters that I have for the uh, Bodyguard. I actually have uh, the uh, Bodyguard 380 automatic and the 38 revolver. Um, first off, I do have um, a pocket holster that I offer. Basically it's made out of one solid piece of Kydex. Uh, it's folded over, held up with a couple of eyelets. It does have a couple of points to help um, help it get hung up in the pocket so when you withdraw the weapon it uh, stays in your pocket and the weapon comes out. I try to cinch it at the bottom so no dust and debris and dirt or lint gets into the uh, gun. And uh, this is made out of .08 Kydex. All the holsters that I have here are .08 Kydex. That is the uh, pocket holster for the Bodyguard 380. Next one that I have is a inside the pant and uh, basically that's it. It's also made from one solid piece of Kydex and what I try to do in uh, all of my holsters uh, when possible I like putting an adjustment screw in um, to uh, adjust the, the retention of the weapon some people like it uh, strong, stronger than uh, others, and, and you know, when it goes inside the pants, sometimes it tightens up a little bit. But I do give you the option to, uh, to make adjustments on it. Uh, just to let you see the uh, clip, it's what I call the fold-over clip. It has a couple of routed out notches on it. So when you put it inside the pants, you take it, pull up on the notches, slide it up into the uh, pants over the belt and the uh, same for uh, taking the uh, weapon out. Basically pull up and out. And that is the inside the pant holster for the Bodyguard 380. Next one, a lot of people are into the hybrids. This is my uh, hybrid line. Basically uh, shows you this is 8 to 9 ounce cowhide and I do give uh, several holes on the back of it to adjust for the uh, clips. Put these out of the way so you can take a peek. That's basically it. Also what I try to do is uh, do my upside down shake test. Um, if, the hole, if the gun doesn't come out of the holster on its own that's uh, pretty good retention for me. Um, this has a little bit of a forward, what we call an FBI cant, so you can withdraw the weapon. That's pretty much uh, the hybrid. Um, also, this is uh, my um, Taurus TCP 738. Just wanted to let you know that uh, different colors options for the smaller guns are also available. This is the same um, as the uh, black one. Um, but this is uh, urban camo color, has the fold over clip. That's it. Also, I do offer a, uh, this is carbon fiber, one of the bigger holsters, just to give you an idea. Also, I have uh, the uh, 38 revolver. This is the inside the pant, has a fold over clip. Once again, uh, the, uh, the notches. And uh, just to let you know, all these guns are unloaded and safe. Has a little bit of a uh, locking mechanism, you can hear it click in. Has a body shield to it to uh, keep the gun away from the body from perspiration and whatnot. Basically I try to incorporate a body shield on all of my weapons. But this is uh, for the revolver. This is a uh, right handed holster and uh, since I'm a left handed shooter I made my own personal left handed holster. This is what it is. It's the exact same, just a mirror image of the right-handed. But what I did was uh, I put a uh, rubber belt loop on. I wanted to try that out. And it actually works out pretty good. It's, uh, I tightened it so it's, it's pretty tight. But um, you can adjust 
the cant and it doesn't move actually because the rubber has pretty good friction up against the uh, kydex. So if you want a little bit of a forward cant, it actually works out pretty good. And then you unsnap it over the belt and snap it back. Once again, retention screws to adjust and has a little bit of a locking. A gun's not coming out. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, give me a holler at uh, www.multiholsters.com or my email address is multiholsters at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching. We'll hope to see you soon.